Hello everybody. Um, I hope you're all so well and that you have had <laughs> a really nice few months since I've been in touch. Um, it was a very unplanned hiatus. I just think that I was quite overwhelmed at the back end of last year. <laughs> And I don't know if you all remember, but I had so much happening with my health. I kept getting migraines, I kept getting an eye infection, and it was all a bit mad because I was dead stressed. And I just have learned that life is way too short for that, and I will no longer be a stressful person. <laughs> and I haven't been since. So I guess I just wanted to say hello and give you a bit of a catch up and say that I am going to be back now. Uh, I don't know whether last, I think it was maybe December, there's the last time you heard from me. Um, and I hope you all had a lovely rest over that time and that you've January, February has not been too miserable because I know it's so cold and things in the world are really heavy and hard. Um, so yeah, and it affects us all so much, even more than we might think consciously. So I did my best disappearing act and actually ran off to Costa Rica for what was supposed to be a few weeks and I doubled it and I ended up being there for six weeks um, <clears throat> because work has been very settled and fine and calm and hasn't been demanding and it isn't ever demanding at that time of year so I was like I saw my opportunity and I took it so I have surfed every day I met some amazing friends I've just been surrounded by the most gorgeous group of girls we I've just Costa Rica has the biggest place in my heart now. I have never needed a trip more like that and feel very lucky that I was able to give it to myself. I'm not a very spiritual person. Like, I wouldn't say I'm very spiritual. I'm definitely not religious. And Costa Rica is the most spiritual place I have ever encountered. And you just have to get on board with it. And so there is nothing that I have not tried at this point. Women's circles, um drum circles, trust exercises. I was blindfolded at one point and told to pick a partner and we had to stare into each other's eyes for a long period of time. And it was all about connection, self-expression and figuring out who you are. Well, honest to God, I cried every day. <laughs> but it's been the most beautiful experience of my life. And like, oh, I didn't think I was gonna get upset. Um, and really necessary. And... Yeah, really special. And I just fell in love with Costa Rica so much and actually um, got to know myself much better. And I feel like you get to an age and you're like, yep, yeah, I know who I am. And I honestly didn't know who I was. Um, I thought I did. <laughs> and then I cracked myself open whilst I was away. And um, yeah, it was like the most vulnerable but special time of my life. And very unexpected time as well. I thought she was going on a holiday to surf every day. <laughs> Lo and behold, <laughs> a spiritual awakening has happened. <laughs> oh dear. Um, but yeah, it's been amazing and I am good, really good. The best I've ever been actually, I think. Um, <clears throat> I'm just feeling very lucky and grateful. And even though I've come back to London, um, I don't feel sad to be here. I just feel like I have a lot of clarity that I don't want to be here all the time. Um, and so, yeah, I'll have a base here, but I will be leaving a lot. <laughs> and actually, I'll be going back to Costa Rica in like two weeks. So I will take you along to that trip as much as I can. I think it was not the right thing to vlog whilst I was there. The time difference, the uploading and the fact that it was the trip that it was for me, which is really quite grounding and explorative. Is that a word? Yeah, explor explorative or explorative. Someone will correct me, I'm sure. <laughs> um, so yeah, it, was, it wasn't the right time for me to be vlogging that anyway. But honestly, it is so beautiful and so special there. Like the word is special. It's no frills lifestyle. The roads are just dusty dirt tracks. We're all covered in sweat, salt, dirt all the time. It's not a fashion parade. It's not a fashion show. It is heaven. Like it is so good. You can eat really well. Life is simple. I get up in the morning, surf at like 5, 6 a.m., um, come back, have breakfast, do all my work I need to do, catch the tail end of like the UK time zone. And then like 
go to Reiki or yoga, breath work, an ice bath. And just sometimes I just lie and meditate on the beach and listen to my meditations in my ears to, yeah. It's crazy, 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 amazing feeling to be there. And that it's changed my outlook about myself and my life so much. Um, so yes, feeling very lucky, very, very lucky indeed. <sighs> so yeah, I'm off again in a couple of weeks and I'll take you along. I've got things in place like actually using my team for what what I should use a team for, which is to help me upload things and get it done so I don't have to like be stressed about getting a video done and all of that. So everyone's been amazing and supportive and I just think I've had to relinquish more control than I thought I could or I was happy to. But now I'm like, Do you know what? No, I need to like really lean into having the support around me and uh, yeah lean into the team a bit more so it's amazing Marnie Ray's Portugal sold out another amazing thing that's happened we've got a wait list that's growing and growing and growing for in case people need to change or cancel something comes up and I'm like what on earth Cornwall's nearly sold out Bali's nearly sold out as well so honestly like this summer is gonna be so amazing it's gonna be just oh, I'm so good um another update from me is I have got to move out of my house I got a text message from my landlord who was very very sorry and sad but he's had to sell the apartment and that is what renting in London is and it's never happened to me before I've always left before that's happened but I didn't want to leave this one but again with these things they're just whatever like it just is life isn't it and I, don't, I didn't feel upset or anything about it I'm just like I have such gorgeous fond memories of being here and I've, I've really loved my time in this place so the hunt is on I've seen some absolute terrible apartments <laughs> on my search <laughs> uh, i've got a couple more viewings coming up um and yeah i don't know we'll see my heart's not in it because i don't want to be in it full time anyway but i'll find somewhere nice um so that when i am back in london it will be it will be nice for me to be here and feel like home and as you know it took so long for this lovely sofa to arrive all those months ago i am not compromising i am not moving anywhere that this sofa can't come with me it is literally my whole home <laughs> so yeah <clears throat> um i think that's the only other update from me really marnie's which is amazing and then yeah moving house which will happen quite soon i think um yeah how are you all i, th I hope everyone's good it feels like ages since I've done this and I'm, I've been talking to you for seven minutes <laughs> so far so I hope that's okay um and yeah I am not doing anything the rest of today my assistant Finn um has come over she lives in Ireland and she's a dream angel uh, so we've been working together the last couple of days which has been so lovely and now I'm just actually watching the Vampire Diaries and just finishing some emails and then my friend Kim you all know Kim Kim is gonna come over for a bit i'm gonna go to pilates and then we're gonna go for tea so very very chilled day today um tomorrow tomorrow i'm hosting a reformer pilates class with olukai who are a hawaiian inspired footwear brand and we are doing a surfboard abs class so it's going to be really fun and it's like yeah tapped into the hawaiian aspect and the surfing it's where i fell in love with surfing mainly and they're launching in the UK, so we're doing a really beautiful event at Studio Anatomy, which is where I go to do Reformer Pilates. I think I've shown you that before. That's where I'm going tonight as well. So I'll be there today and tomorrow. And I've got a nice week this week. I've got a lot going on. I'm going away this weekend to Portugal to do a shoot for a magazine in all my surf gear. Potentially surfing, if the waves are right. So, yeah. That's going to be really nice. Um, and very exciting. The magazine's called Well Curated and it's very, very chic. Um, and so I'm very excited about that. So I, everything's good, guys. I am good and happy and just looking forward to getting into like a new balance of things of being in London, being in Europe for Marnie's and then being in Costa Rica whenever else I can. Uh, so yeah, class. Uh, and I hope you're all good. And uh, I am going to the hairdressers this week because my hair, even though it's short still, it's gotten quite long and it's all very white from the sun. And then my roots are out of control. I haven't had it done since the end of November. So yeah, I'll go get that done. And um, that's it from me for now, I think. Um, but thanks for sticking around. If you're still here, I might be launching to crickets. You never know. 
nobody might nobody might want to watch me anymore <laughs> but yeah have a gorgeous afternoon i'll take you along later if i end up doing anything else if not today is today hello i think i'm gonna be back now and yeah have a gorgeous evening here we are with wee pal who's dressed in yeah who's dressed in a tracksuit who has not seen a gym all day <laughs> Oh, I love it here. Hi guys, welcome to day two of vlogging and it is half past five in the evening and I have not lifted my phone once. <laughs> so I'm doing really well. <laughs> um, I hope you're all okay and everything. Today has been non-stop. But it was nothing exciting for you lot. Like I've literally been glued to my computer on back-to-back -back calls. And then I went to view a flat, which was, again, another squat. I don't know if I said to you yesterday the one I'd gone to see or had I seen it by that point. Oh, well, I've seen a couple of what could be some squatters have moved into. And for the money, <laughs> I am, um, no, 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 thank you, London. Anyway, yeah, today was not good. On Monday, I have another one. That'll be great. Please. <laughs> it looks the most promising. So let's just see. Um, I'm just tired. I'm very happy. In good spirits. I'm going to... I knew today was going to be really hard and really long. So I, in anticipation of that, I have booked a sound healing session. This evening with um, a brand called She's Lost Control, which is based in London. They have a couple of different um, spots in London. And so, yeah, that's at seven. So I'm looking forward to that very much because I'm still very much in my healing situation. Had a really nice meditation last night before I went to bed. Um, I listened to a woman called Sarah Blondin, and I'll put a link on for you. Uh, I listened to some of her YouTube, but also, also on Spotify, she has an album um, that I just press play on and I'm like, gone. But I listen to it and it makes me really relaxed and it's just really affirming and reassuring and beautiful to listen to. So that's a really nice one. Um, yeah, I don't think I have much else to say today. Very short and sweet for me. I won't be taking you to the sound healing class because no. Uh, but yeah, I think that's about it. I'm just, yeah, having a nice week, like I said, and tomorrow I'll get my hair done, um, which is good, pre-Portugal shoot with Well Curated, and uh, I'll be, we're styling it all in free people and free people movement, so I can't wait. It's going to be so good. Um, just got the core sheet through, and I need to get a manicure, actually. Yeah. Hi guys, I'm back from sound healing, looking very tired and dishevelled. Um, it was a very lovely experience. I actually found that the the sound that she was playing, God, my hair, the, like the gong baths and the the sound journey that we went on, just completely evoked thoughts for me. I didn't relax. I mean, I think I think I relaxed. I think I was in a different like I was like in the state that they want you to be in just before sleep like a dream state kind of kind of thing they say but there was not a thought that I did not have during that whole thing it wasn't stressful or like upsetting or anything like that but just every single thought and to-do list and things that are coming up and how am I feeling today and all of these different things were just flooding in it's like the music and the sound turned on a tap and it was like psh, thoughts <laughs> Um, which was really nice, but I actually thought I was going to be really immersed in it in a different way. So that was interesting and still nice and positive and stuff. But yeah, um, a lovely experience. I would have liked it if she'd have actually started the session by explaining what we were going to do and why. And she kind of just was like, everyone calm down, lie down, get comfy take a deep breath and then she went into it and I was like hello what are we doing can you explain some of this to me please um but I'm sure if I'd have stayed at the end to ask her about it it would have been fine as well but yeah I kind of like to know what I'm getting into when I come into these things I like people to be really grounding when you get there and they're like you're safe you're here like you don't have anything else to do today let's just try and focus and 
all of that really helps me to like be present in whatever it is, whatever spiritual thing I'm doing or whatever it is. Mm. So yeah, it was really nice, but I have notes. So yeah. Um, yeah, I need to find some more stuff like that in London, really. Like more like sound healing and all kinds of stuff like that really I'm interested in. So if anybody knows of anything or goes to anything like this, then tell me because I'm very interested the times that I'm around. Um, it's a really lovely thing to keep up with and always makes me feel very connected to myself. So yeah, it's good. I've just been to buy ingredients for a smoothie because it's like half eight, but I'm hungry and I don't want to cook, but I think a smoothie will do the trick. I got, yeah, I just, like I said, I've been trying to bring parts of Costa Rica home with me and smoothies coconut water like fresh coconuts every day like three a day especially after surfing and just lots of like gut um positive gut positive things really so i'm just trying to do my best with my eating and things like that here because i felt really good in costa rica and not just because of the sun and surf but because of what i was putting in my body as well lots of smoothie bowls and lots of fruit fresh fruit all the time um so yeah i'm trying to replicate it in some way which I'm sure it can be done. I mean, it can be done. I've been doing it, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, hairdo tomorrow. So I've got to get to sleep soon. Up early for that. And Lizzie's home tomorrow. I've not seen her for two months. I'm like at my wit's end now. I'm like, right, we have. To, I can't wait to see you. So she's going to fly tonight. <clears throat> and so when I wake up in the morning, she'll land. I'll have my hair done and then I'll run around to hers uh, after that. I cannot wait to see her. Um, and we've got a good couple of weeks together before, well, a good three weeks really together with a tiny bit of like broken time because of Portugal and Mother's Day and stuff like that. A little plans to go home and see my mum, um, before I go back. So we've got a good few weeks. It's, I'm really excited. So yeah, I actually also haven't drank the whole time that I was away. I had a glass of wine actually. I went to like a really beautiful hotel in Nosara. So did it like a four hour drive we rented a car um me and my girlfriends and yeah and then there was like orange wine on the menu at this really beautiful hotel restaurant so we were like Ugh, let's have a drink because we haven't been drinking in Santa Teresa where we were staying and we all had one glass and it was perfect and it was so nice and I actually didn't sleep that well after that so yeah I just didn't have anything again so it's been since New Year's Eve I haven't drank and it's like what the 29th of Feb now yeah yeah, so a good couple of months and it feels really nice and really great and I don't have hangovers and I don't get anxiety and I'm not tired and yeah so I'm gonna keep it up really for as long as I want to and it feels like yeah it feels like a good good choice for me it's never agreed with me <laughs> so yeah I'm feeling good I am gonna go now and make my little smoothie um but yeah that's me today I'm sorry this has been more chatty and less like this is what I've been doing. I tried to video a tiny bit of the She's Lost Control studio over in Hackney somewhere. Um, it's tiny, it's beautiful, it's really well set up. So like, yeah, would recommend having a look at events and stuff like that, if that's what you're into in London anyway. Um, but yeah, I need to find some other, other stuff as well. I like, yeah, I like teachers that are gonna, like, I don't know, make me feel part of it and like, they're really into healing too. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I can do this with you. If that makes sense. Um, yeah. So anyway, I'm, I've gone off piece. I'm going, I'm going, I was going to say I'm going home. I am home. I'm going and I'll speak to you in the morning. Hi everyone. Hope you're all having a lovely day. And it is Thursday at half past four, just in case you all were wondering. And it is miserable outside. It's very wet and rainy. I've been in the hairdressers for five hours of my life. Um, but that's because I left it like over two months to get my blonde and cut done. So we are finally a bit more root free, which is nice, but it's very fluffy. So we need to sort that out. Um, but yes, gorgeous as always. Went to Larry King, saw Harriet for a colour, who's like queen of blondes, and Lily for a cut, who is just literally the best with a pair of scissors, to be honest. And she's really lols as well. Um, I have had a very busy day, despite being sat on my bum for five hours in the hairdressers, I have not stopped with work, um, but it's all been really good and really positive. I've not stopped with work, I'm starving, my stomach is absolutely screaming at me to put something in it, and it's half four, and I've like had a smoothie all day, which is insane, so I need to do that. 
I've been really into bone broth recently. It's got lots of good nutrients in it. So I feel, yeah, I'm, I'm on a good track with it. I'm trying to get my gut health sorted. I think I said this to you yesterday. Um, I, yeah, that's it. What day is it? Thursday. Tomorrow is the night I'm going to Portugal for the shoot. So I just basically need to get myself together. This house, this house, is there's stuff everywhere. And I think because I'm moving out, I'm not that precious about putting stuff back where it came from. So there's a ginormous pile on the floor of my bedroom of just clothes. <laughs> um, in other very exciting news, Elizabeth is coming over. She is home from New York and she got home this morning. So she's going to come over for a couple of hours this evening and I just can't wait to give her the biggest squeeze I've missed her so much it's been ages so that's gonna be so nice um and then when she goes I'll do my packing like a good girl um and um, yeah the only bit of news for me is that I have been watching the vampire diaries from the very beginning never watched it before I'm obsessed teenage angst erotic vampires well well apparently true blood is better like a bit more steamy and the one I'm watching, Vampire Diaries, is like very teenage. But I really love a coming of age drama in a book or in a TV programme. So it's very, very, very up my street. Um, so yeah, that's literally my whole plan. I've been such a little recluse since I got back from Costa Rica. I love it. I've just been in all the time. I've been out for a couple of dinners, but literally I'm just in the house all the time. And it's just my favourite thing ever. I really like it. Um, it's just so fuss free. I've not got to be anywhere. I've not got to please anyone except myself. It's very liberating thought process um I'm trying to think if there's anything else i need to tell you today sorry again it's just chatting i've not really shown you anything but this is what you're just going to have to deal with for the first vlog back otherwise i'll never do it and then i'll vlog from the whole time in portugal which will be fun and interesting for you to see and uh that's it i think really i'll try and do something interesting tomorrow Watch this space. <laughs> Hi guys, I've got a visitor. I've got two visitors, <laughs> Este and Effie. She's so oh, cute. <laughs> Este and her little, her little pooch, Effie, is so nervous. Yeah. And when she walked in, all I wanted to do was give her a cuddle and Este was like, you're just gonna have to ignore her and pretend she doesn't exist. And I'm like, this is the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life. Look it's so tough. I, can't, I just She's wanna touch her. So sweet and loving. And she doesn't get out much, but I knew oh. I was just coming here like pretty low key. Like oh. that yawn is anxiety. But don't worry, mommy, it's like, so it's okay, it's okay. Este has kindly just dropped me off a mini mirror water smooth. Yes. Did you know best selling body oil in Space NK? Stop it. Yes. Well, I mean, I'm not surprised, but yeah. <laughs> Amazing. My bathroom's littered with it. You've not even been in there, have you? But yeah. I'll go check it out and make sure you've got all the mirror water in there. Yeah, you have to. And then we need a top up if not. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> Awkward. Hi, guys. I'm just um, I'm just packing for Portugal for the shoot that I've got um, this weekend with Well Curated and, um, yeah, Free People. And it's going to be so cool. I can't wait. It's all about Marnie Rays and surfing and... Oh God, yeah, it's crazy. So I'm having a bit of a crazy day, right? I mean, I say crazy, but that's just maybe the Brit in me being like dramatic. It's not crazy at all. I guess it's just today we announced the closure of the longing. Um, and it's like bittersweet because I've learned so much. It's been the most gorgeous, incredible learning journey and ride for me. Um, but the fact is, is that it doesn't bring me any joy anymore. And to be completely transparent, it is notoriously, oops, bush was slipping, notoriously difficult and expensive um, in the textile industry. It's very, very expensive to create a run of towels and the benefits and the joy just do not outweigh, like it's just, it's, it's not enough. So I'm focusing all of my joy and energy on Marnie Rays and expanding that and just, we've got so many amazing, exciting things coming up. And I want the space and the room to be able to grow with Marnie Rays and not with the longing anymore. So we announced the final closing down sale this morning. Um, it should still be running. I mean, I don't know because it's absolutely gone like wildfire. So I don't know how much stock we're gonna have less by the time this goes out, but yeah, head to the site, it's half price everything. Um, it's been wild of sales um which is very good because it means money in the bank um with the stock and everything that we can put towards marnie's and yeah it's been 
the most, one of the most valuable learning experiences of my life and I wouldn't change any of it. And it has just taught me so, so much. And I'm very, very thankful for all of your support on it. But it's just time for a pivot. It's time for something that makes me feel joy and happiness. And the whole reason behind starting a business is for joy and happiness and for like bringing something cool and good and interesting to the world. And I just wasn't having those feelings anymore. So I'm like, right, let's quit while we're ahead and use these amazing, valuable business lessons to our advantage for Marnie Rays, which I feel like we've done a really good job of. And there's something really exciting coming soon that's um, an evolution of Marnie Rays. So yeah, if you are following along with the Longing account, please stick around because that's gonna evolve into something else very soon. So yeah, I just wanted to let you know a bit of life news today. And God, I stink. <laughs> I just don't wear deodorant anymore because I just didn't in Costa Rica. And then I just, the smell reminds me to put it on. It's disgusting, like gross. I shower every day, but yeah, I need to start, I need to start putting my ACT deodorant back on. Um, yes, because yeah, all right, fine. We're not, I'm not a cave woman. Um, so my next thing is I've got a flat viewing, so pray for me. Flat viewing, and then I need to get a manicure to make sure my nails are all nice and clean and tidy and stuff for the shoot this weekend. And then I'm gonna head to Gatwick and go and sleep over at the hotel because flight's really early in the morning. So it'll save me like two hours of sleep if I just go tonight. So I'm gonna do that. Um, and I think that's about it today. I'll take you along later if I can. And then obviously just all weekend, we're gonna be in Portugal shooting. So I'll take you uh, for as much as that as I can. Oh, tripod, I'll bring my tripod so I can set it up and show you what we're up to. But I just cannot wait. It's gonna be a really exciting weekend. And how lovely that the, the longing winds down today and stuff for Marnie Ray's kicks off today in terms of me going to do the shoot for the brand. And yeah, it just all feels very right and serendipitous. And I am emotional about it, but not in a, not in a way that's like, God, I'm so sad. I wish it wasn't happening because it's absolutely wholeheartedly my decision. And um, I feel really strong in that decision and like it feels so right to do this now. Um, but yes, thank you all so much for your support and everything. And like, it's just things are gonna grow and get better and be more wholesome and joyful. And yeah, the towels aren't part of that journey anymore, but they definitely got me to where I am. So thank you towels. Thank you, the longing. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna go now and I'll catch up with you in a bit. Hi guys, I've just got to my hotel at Gatwick and proceeded to get straight in bed. It's like half past eight, but I've got a very early start tomorrow. We've got to be at the airport at 5 a.m. So I've got up super early, so I've just put a moisturizing mask on, which is why I am the shiniest thing ever. Uh, so I hope, hope that I can get some sleep. I've got a bit of anxiety in my tummy, but I think it's nerves. Um, so I'm just gonna do a little calming meditation and yeah, do a bit of journaling and just try and like whew, calm it down a little. Um, yeah, so it'll be great. I'm gonna, I'm really excited. I'm really looking forward to it. I think I've just got a bit of a knot in my tummy uh, about it. But yeah, it's just because I care and I'm excited and it's yeah, really amazing um, opportunity with work, which is crazy and exciting. So here I am in my Backstreet Boys t-shirt and that is your lot, I think. I'm just gonna try and get an early night, like I said, and just try and calm down a little bit. Probably didn't help that I just went and bought some minstrels and ate those, that little sugar hit from the vending machine downstairs. <laughs> I can't be helped. I cannot be helped. Um, okay, well, that's enough out of me, and I hope you're all really well and that you have had a lovely day. And I'm gonna take you along as much as I possibly can this weekend. Um, yeah, and vlogs now are going to go out on a different day. Don't know which day yet. I think maybe a Monday morning instead of a Sunday so that I can get the whole weekend in. Or like a Monday, a Tuesday, maybe a Tuesday. Maybe, maybe it's going to be every Tuesday first thing in the morning. What do you prefer? Do you want a morning vlog or an evening vlog? I feel like, I don't know. You tell me you lot, but it's hard to do over a weekend um, at the moment. So I am not gonna be uploading on a weekend. It'll have to be a weekday. So you can tell me what day you want that to be and what time you want that to be. Good morning, everybody from Gatwick Hotel. It's 10 past four in the morning. I'm giving full mouse. We are full mouse. I slept terribly, of course, because I have to look 
fresh today. My body was like, no, 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 we're not gonna allow that for you. We're gonna, we're gonna keep you up. We're gonna worry you and make you nervous about the shoe so that you don't sleep. <laughs> so here we are, nice and mousy. And I'm really sad to report that my tan seems to be really fading. And uh, you know, this is a summer shoe and I'm like, come on guys, <laughs> what's going on? I've been in the UK for too long. <laughs> um, but I'm feeling good. Um, just glad that, to be awake. You know when you're just like, morning just needs to come now. <clears throat> and that's, yeah, it's gonna be fine. If only I drank coffee. Do you know what happened to me yesterday though? Which is I think why I was a bit mental yesterday night in like, my thoughts and stuff and not being able to sleep was because I went out for breakfast with Lizzie which was gorgeous and I asked for a decaf um coffee it wasn't a decaf and I like necked it because I just love love the taste of coffee and then literally within about 15 minutes I was like mm, that was not that was not no <laughs> there was lots of caffeine in that Lizzie was like oh my god and so I spent the rest of the day like being on, on edge and anxious and then yeah like had a little mini mini panic last night um and that doesn't really happen to me very often the oh, way up doesn't really happen to me very often anymore um like panic and stuff obviously now and again but like it used to be something that was very very um <laughs> prevalent shall we say in my life lots of panic attacks and um yeah i haven't had one for a long time and absolutely caffeine related I've got nothing panic to panic about at all. Everything feels really lovely in life. It just absolutely just does not agree with me. And I'm just not even ever going to order a decaf coffee ever again, <laughs> just in case, because it is not worth it. Um, it's a bloody hell, yeah. So just getting ready. Um, and we're at Gatwick, so there's a Joe in the juice. So I'm going to go and just get, going to go and get like a nice, fresh juice this morning um, and that'll be it we'll be on our way to Portugal I haven't been to Portugal since Marley Race last June so we're going to be in like a very similar area so I'm really excited um, and yeah I'll show you the hotel and everything when I get there it's a really nice one um, we're going to a place called Sagres which is in um, the Algarve so we're flying to Faro and then it'll be about an hour and 10 minutes drive to the location. And the idea is to get two of the shots done at sunset this evening and the next six shots done tomorrow, like weather dependent, but we're here until Monday because of the weather, because it's Portugal and it can be a bit um, unpredictable when it's not the summer. So yeah, very, very excited. So I'll be awake by the time sunset comes. <laughs> And Camilla Hewitt, who is the founder of Well Curated, is also an amazing hair and makeup artist. So she's going to just work wonders for me. Um, and that will be lovely. I can't wait. Can't wait to just put all the looks together. We've pretty much done it, but it, I want to like get there and try it all on properly and be like, right, okay, because we've got eight looks to shoot for eight shots. Um, yeah, and I just cannot wait. I feel so proud and lucky to be doing something like this um, around Marnie Ray's and my surfing career. Career. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's going to be amazing. Right, I'm going to go because I'm, I'm being slow. <laughs> Hello guys, I have just arrived in Portugal for the shoot. Um, I'm very tired, but, well actually it's like half four, we went into Lagos for some lunch first, which was gorgeous. And now I'm just unpacking my case full of all the free people uh, clothing and free people movement stuff so that I can put, I've already pulled together the eight looks that we need to shoot, but I just need to see it all, steam it all, get it ready. We're gonna try and do two um, sunset shots tonight or maybe even just one but the weather's supposed to be amazing tomorrow so we'll have much more time to get through a full shoot day tomorrow and then chill after that but yes um very happy to be here feel pretty tired but i'm just gonna have 
a shower and maybe sauna or something. They've got really beautiful facilities at this hotel we're staying at. It's called Martinal um, and it's gorgeous. So yeah, I'm just going to finish unpacking and then yeah, we're going to meet the team properly and then start like getting ready for sunset, I think. I'm like, please, for the love of God, wake up. <laughs> I hope you guys are all okay as well. And I'm being quiet because there's other people in this house. <laughs> shots at sunset and it's just very windy so we're going to move if you can even hear me we're going to move to a different more sheltered location but it's so stunning here i can't wait to show you everything good morning everybody from portugal me and cam are just Hi. up bright and early and we're getting my hair and makeup sorted we're going to try and get one shot in before breakfast because it's such a beautiful morning and then um carry on with the rest of the shots for the rest of the day so it's going to be such a gorgeous day today and we're going to get all the looks done and yeah can't wait and i'll take you along as much as i can hello again guys um from the car we're just doing a bit more of a recce and waiting to get a surfboard for some of the shoot which is just going to be so gorgeous um i kept makeup and hair really simple and beachy and surfy so i'm really happy so i feel very much like myself which is good cam who i showed you earlier is camilla hewitt and she is one of the co-founders of the magazine well curated so it's just so gorgeous it's just me and the two co-founders kate who's amazing for fashion photographer um and then cam and also um kate's son who's 15 and who's being an absolute trooper and just like getting stuck in and helping and doing lots of like capturing behind the scenes so it's really really lovely um had such an early light, night last night and a big sleep so I feel really refreshed today and as you can see the light is so beautiful and we're just waiting yeah for the surfboard to arrive and then we can get on the beach and get the first shot of the day so yeah it's all very chilled and just really gorgeous and I just feel very lucky to be doing this um I think it's just going to be so it's just so nice like career-wise and everything and just for Marnie Rays and just to even be in this position is just crazy to me so I'm feeling very 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 lucky today um but like I say I'll take you along as much as I can but we don't kind of want to show much of the looks before it goes to print and it'll go to print at the end of April 22nd of April it comes out and you can get it directly from well curated in free people stores and white company stores so <clears throat> I will put the link on uh, to the well curated website and the Instagram as well because it's so beautiful and I've really admired their work for so long so I'm like ah it's amazing um but i hope you're all really really well and that you're having a lovely saturday and i'll report back in a bit hello guys from the beach in Portugal um, we've done most of the shots of the day and we're just waiting for sunset now to do the last two shots of the shoot um, we've just had the best day we've got everything we needed it's been gorgeous I've been freezing because it's so cold in Portugal I mean it's 16 degrees but the wind which makes it obviously amazing for surfing but good lord the it's it's bitter um so I've spent a lot of time in bikinis and dresses and skirts and stuff and it uh, yeah I'm now in a full tracky. <laughs> I'm just coming for a beach walk. I'm going to put my feet in the water. Um, and I'm going to sit and meditate and then head back ready for the last shots of the day. Uh, hope you're all having such a lovely weekend. Um, and yeah, thanks for coming along. It's been really like, it's just felt so fast, even though I've been here for two nights, three days. I leave at six in the morning. Um, Yes, I just thought I need to just be a bit grounded and just do something that's alone and in nature for a minute because I just, yeah, haven't had my feet in nature for a few weeks and it was since being back from Costa Rica and it is really, I really, really feel it. Like, really, really feel it. <laughs> so, yeah, um, very ready to get back there soon. Um, but can't complain. I'm in such a beautiful place. Whoa, doing such a gorgeous gorgeous thing for work and something I'm really proud of so yeah um, I'm gonna get in here <laughs> 